Hi guys, started doing something, but I thought I'd share it with you. I was looking for a skimmer to throw at the water, and came across this and thought, no, that's too perfect to uh, throw away. So what I decided to do was to turn it into something. I've got the emery paper out, and I'm just kind of sanding it down. But I'm going to polish it up and see if I can carve it. See if I can make like a little, a little totem or something. I've uh, been working on the stone. I smoothed it off on both sides, just using sandpaper. Varying grits, so working from larger grits down to smaller grits, a smooth finish. Then what I did was I took a Dremel and stuck in a cloth attachment and just gave it a wee polish. So I think it's just about as shiny as it's going to get. Potentially if I put a bit of mineral oil on it and give it a wipe down it'll get a bit shinier, but I'm quite happy. I probably can't see it, it won't zoom in, but it's got like a little bit of a coarser grain there, so that allows just grip. Separates the two sides, I guess. What I'm planning on doing is putting in a Celtic cross, an ancient kind of symbol, sort of infinity line that never ends and it um, intersects and weaves and it's actually actually quite pretty. I've actually been um, practicing a bit with the, the Dremel and different attachments. What I've done is I've kind of polished it off so it's a bit shinier here but then I've uh, used a smaller bit. Um, in my case it's one of these smaller ones and that's just um, taken some of the material away and left with like an engraving. So I've found this Celtic knot and what I'm going to do is just tape on a bit of paper over the screen and trace over it. So I've got some cell tape here to hold it in place. Might actually help if I make the room dark. So I've got my symbol now here. Alternatively, what you could do is just get a print out, cut it all out on the rock with the scalpel and hopefully that's going to leave like a scratch mark on the surface which I can use to guide the Dremel tool. I've just gone in with a, a deeper Dremel, slightly bigger end on, and sunk the engraving deeper into the stone so it's got a bit more of a feel to it. It's kind of giving me a bit of a ring, my hand's feeling a bit funny. But as you see I've got a glove on and I've actually got ear plugs in as well. I don't know if you can see what I've done but I've kind of just increased the depth of the actual piece itself. And what I'm going to do next is take the pointed bit and try and straighten up some of these edges just to finish it off. So it's my uncle's um, 60th birthday tomorrow and I've decided that I'm going to give it to him for his birthday because he loves uh, Scottish kind of folklore, Celtic stuff, anything to do with Scotland basically he loves. I've inscribed in black felt his initials along with the date of his birth. That's the other side. Yep. Makes for a really cool present someone. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, the kind of uh, crafty making stuff. I've been given permission to carve this up. It's a stag antler from a red deer, something like this. So if you've got any ideas for this antler then maybe write down in the comment section and I'll see maybe what I can make out of it. Give it a try, let me know how you get on. Bye for now.